what kind of servicing and maintenance does it require in the long run? What is the lifespan of it? How is it going to work for your house? Dream house home improvements. Here are the three things that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodegradable waste biodigester for your dream house. Coming up right now in this video. The first thing that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodigester for your dream house is to know what biodigester is and what it does. You need to understand what it means when you say biodigester, what type of human waste management system are you comparing it to? Is it a septic tank? Is it a manhole? Is it the cover type of toilet? And then in terms of the treatment of the human waste, what are you going to get? Are you going to have it biodegrade by itself and then break down by itself? Where is the wastewater going? and basically how the technology works. So if you intend to construct a biodigester, you need to understand these things. Is it the type that produces gas or it does not produce gas? When you say gas, what are you looking at? Is it the gas as an output for domestic use, for generating electricity, or for what type of purposes? So all these things are the things that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodegradable waste biodigester. The second most important thing that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodigester is to know the cost of it. How much is it going to cost you to construct one? In terms of the cost and the pricing, what are you going to compare it to? Are you comparing it to a septic tank at the same time? Are you comparing it to a covert? Or are you comparing it to what type of technology in terms of the waste treatment system that you are getting? The amount of time involved in the construction of it, that's how long it takes for it to be constructed the kind of materials that you need to have it constructed, the land size, the space that you need before you have it constructed, and is it something that you think you can afford comparing it to whatever other technology that is available on the market. So if you want to construct a biodigester, you need to know the cost of it. The third thing that you need to know if you want to construct a biodigester for your dream house is to know how to service it. What kind of servicing and maintenance does it require in the long run? What is the lifespan of it? How is it going to work for your house? The do's and don'ts of a biodigester. What kind of materials can be allowed in it? And what kind of materials cannot be allowed in the biodigester? The advantages and the disadvantages are all things that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodigester. And if an installer tells you that you have to do maintenance, at what time span, what lifespan are you looking at? having it done and the lifespan of the digester itself after it's been constructed you need to have the materials the bedding materials replaced at what time are some of the things that you need to know if you intend to construct a biodigester for your dream house this channel is dedicated to those who are interested in constructing biodigesters and those who are interested in using it as an option in terms of their human waste management system the next video that is going to show will explain to you exactly how biodigesters work and how you can use it as a human waste treatment option